What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right there, right there. And hit the little notification bell while you're at it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Y'all, 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 y'all. Let me first start off saying by, I do love some Dave Chappelle. I used to watch all the Chappelle shows. I went to all, when he came to town for his comedy stand-ups and things like that, me and my husband would get tickets, even when they went up a price because he was so famous on the Chappelle show and everybody was screaming, you're rich, you know? And we would go see his shows and we, we loved him. Recently, he's started doing these Netflix comedy shows. I watched the last one. What was the name of it? Is it Equality or something or not? It was, but it's been a couple. He's had a couple on Netflix and I enjoyed them. His new one dropped on Netflix called Sticks and Stones. Now, first, let me tell you, I was nervous about this Sticks and Stones because all I've been hearing are negative reviews. So my overall opinion, I liked it. I did, I liked it. I thought it was the same kind of comedy that Chappelle always does, which is why you like him and watch him. I feel like it started off slow. Oh, when it started off, he came on and he started doing some jokes about suicide and stuff like that. And I mean, that was a little uncomfortable. I was like, all right, that, I felt a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't even like so much uncomfort that made me dislike it. I just didn't think those bits were funny. I was like, oh, the critics are being right. They're right. They are right. The bad reviews are right. These jokes are not very funny. Dave, where are you at? Where are you at, Dave? Now, there are parts that I can see people get offense over. And, and even parts I was just like, yeah, still not funny. The suicide stuff, eh. And then he talked about Michael Jackson and kind of like pedophilia and kind of on Michael Jackson's side. I just didn't find that funny. But I, would, I didn't find offense. I was just kind of like, eh. You know, but that's the, these are tense situations. These are situations, inappropriate situations, situations that make you feel like, uh, 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 it makes you feel gross. When you're talking about the suicide, it makes you feel like, oh, uh, like sick to your stomach. But that's the thing. And that's where I feel like we can't hold back too much on comedians. I mean, if they're being offensive just to hurt people, yeah. But I feel like they're taking these tense, you know, subjects. They're taking these taboo subjects that we really don't talk about bringing a little comedy to it, which I'm still, I'm telling you, I didn't find it funny. But it may, it opens up, you know, conversation. People say Dave Chappelle, though, went too far, that he's offensive, right? Have y'all watched his other episodes? Have you watched the Chappelle show? His popular show is his, he had a whole family, a white family, and called them, their last names were the N-word. Right there, that's like, oh, shocking. That's his thing, that's Chappelle. I wasn't shocked over it. I was like, this is the Chappelle we know, you know? Another, like his old episodes, he had like a black guy who was blind and a member of the KKK. One of the big things I know people had a big problem with in his shtick was he brought up the L, and I, he called it the letters, the letters people. That's what he called the letters. And, and I get them confused too, the L, G, B T Q, right? Did I get it? He's actually bringing it to light, making conversation about it, and in his own way, kind of explaining, you know, each. Talked about, you know, they're in the same car with the same movement, and the trans person wanted to go to the bathroom, and they were like, there ain't a bathroom for you in four states. Bringing that, yeah, we still have this problem out there that people aren't accepting it. The states even are, you know, fighting with the bathroom. So, so I'm like, this is bringing it to light. I'm not going to come on here and say I didn't feel any bit uncomfortable when you talked about some of these subjects. Maybe because myself, I, you would classify me on the left. You know, when I hear the words, the, you know, word, even when I hear the N-word, you know, I feel uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, don't, nobody should be saying that. Even when he says it, I'm like, oh, nobody should be saying that. He talked about then a situation that came up when he was on the, doing the Chappelle show, right? He talked about a situation where he used talking to like the gay community, uh, you know, speaking about the gay community, used the, the F word. You know what I'm talking about. So he talked about being on the Chappelle show and getting called in the office 
and be, being told like he can't use that word on the show. And so he's like, oh, okay. And he said he starts to walk off, right? To stay, to walk out the room and, and he turns around. He's like, well, let me ask you a question. How come I can't say that word, but I can say the N word? Or they said, Dave, it's because you're not gay. And then he said, well, I'm not the N word either. And I was like, oh, that's it. It hit me. It hit me right then and there. I was like, you know, even these times when I'm watching this and feeling uncomfortable and stuff, it's not that I feel uncomfortable that because he is trying to, you know, discriminate one race or one group of people or the other. He's just a comedian. He does. He makes fun of pretty much all situations, all races, not in a way I think that he's trying to hurt anybody, but bringing light to it. That's the way I took it. I went back and read some of these reviews on the negative reviews that people had with this. They were mad about, you know, him making jokes about the LGBTQ. They were mad about him making, you know, pedophile type jokes and stuff. They were mad that he was making all these jokes. But then I was like, but they wasn't mad when he was making jokes about like his own race. Even when he was using that word over and over and over. He always does, which I'm still like, uh, uh, but that's him. He always uses it. But there was no complaints about that. He brought the abortion thing, made the statement, you know, like, if you have balls, you shouldn't get a say in this. You shouldn't get a say in this. You shouldn't get a vote. You should just keep your mouth shut. I was like, see, he makes sense. You know, so like turn the table and he's like, also, you know, women, if you choose to keep it and the man doesn't want to, you know, I have the right, the choice to save my own money. <laughs> I was like, oh. overall, I give this a rating out of three out of a five. Like I said, there was parts where it got dinged that I just didn't find funny. Not because I was had took offense to it. I just didn't think it was funny. There was parts like I laughed until my stomach hurt. It was a mixture. So if you watched it, let me know what you think. I want to know comments. Give me thumbs, all that. If you're mad at me, let me know. <laughs> and until next time, y'all.